For the sake of tidiness, create a directory to store the assets you need to make. Making the actual font texture will probably take the most time. So let's do that now. In Photoshop, create an image with a large size. Oh, and I'm using a 6000 by 256. I've already set up this file with layers to use. For this demonstration, I'm going to make a font based on impact with horizontal stripes, emboss overlays and a thick black outline. Type out all the letters, numbers and symbols that you're going to need. The characters need to be well spaced out, so adjust the kerning, or Photoshop calls it tracking, in the character palette. Load the shape into the selection by control clicking the text layer and use this shape as a starting mask on any layers. You can turn off the text layer. Here I've got a layer that will be the outline, a folder with layers that make the stripes. some emboss overlays and a smart set horizontal line. This allows the editor to identify the vertical positioning of the characters. This should run along the whole length of the image and appear on all or most of the letters. Unity can only take images up to 4096 pixels so I need to reduce the width of this one. The whole font is in a layer folder, so I can just make a clone of it, move the second line back along to the left. And now crop the image. Lastly, to make a properly matted transparent image, Select the whole image and copy merged layers. Paste it back in and move the new layer so that it's in exactly the same place. Then control click this layer to load the selection. Go to the channels tab and click save selection as channel. This creates an alpha channel the same shape as your font. And then hide or delete this layer. Fill in the background with the same colour as the outline. Now save the image into the assets directory. For file type you can just leave it as a PSD. Back in Unity, select your new image. In the inspector there are a few properties that need to be edited. Change the type to advanced to see all these extra settings. If the texture is not power of 2, change this to none. Tick read write enabled. If your image is large, you'll need to change the max size and change the format to true colour so that it doesn't suffer compression artefacts. Create a material with a sensible name, drop the font bitmap into it and assign the texture to text shader. Now create a custom font asset and assign the material into its slot. Now go to Windows Font Editor to bring up the editor window. Drag the custom font settings object into the slot and press Start. On the right, click Auto Set to show the options. Make sure the smart colour is set to the same as the horizontal line and click the Smart button. The editor will highlight a character, asks you to type in what it is. Press the Next button. The editor will highlight another character. Instead of pressing the Next button, you can press the Enter key on the keyboard. Repeat this process for all characters. Once all characters are identified, check for any error prompts and address the issues as necessary. Now adjust any rectangles that weren't big enough by clicking and dragging on the resize handle.
and then shrink wrapping afterwards. If any of the characters did not line up with the red line, they will not have the correct vertical position. Click and drag the darker grey slider and move it up or down to adjust this. If snap is turned on, you can quickly snap the slider to the same height as another rectangle. Adjust this as needed for any characters not covered by the red line. Don't forget to add a space character. Check in the scene to find the font setter preview text. All the characters currently overlapping because we haven't changed the line spacing in the font settings object. Do one last check to make sure no characters were missed and all vertical heights are correct. Now return to Photoshop and turn off the red line layers. And resave the image. The line should be gone from both the editor window and the preview text in the scene. Now to pack the font texture into a smaller bitmap. Create another material with the textured text shader. And a new custom font. Drop the new material onto it. Return to the main menu of the font editor. On the right side, assign the completed font settings object into the first slot and the new unused font into the second and click start. Choose some settings for the texture packer and click pack. In the console it will tell you some information about the size of the packed map. You can use this as a guide to determine the best combination of packed settings. When you are happy, check the project window for the newly packed map. Put it into the blank material. The preview scene object will again be overlapping because the new font needs line spacing. If you can see any artefacting when zoomed in, this is due to the import compression settings of the image. The font is now ready to use.